Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Nazi Britain, British Empire. We are currently at war with Belgium, France and the United States here in the North American Coalition. Yeah, it doesn't make geographical sense, but whatever. Uh, we're currently just pushing out, trying to conquer these guys pretty easily. My concern with France is that they might put reinforcements into Belgium. Um, we're going to try and avoid that from happening. I've moved my air power around as well so that they have uh, a decent coverage here. Oh. Yep, sure, more, more air power. And we should also have, yeah, doing well up here. Southern France is defended. Yeah, definitely. 350 fighters. Definitely defend Southern France. You never know what's coming. Not Northern France, not the Benelux region. Or, you know, defending your bombers over Southern England. No, definitely do that. I don't know. Crazy people. Uh, our manpower definitely needs, needs improving as well. Um, they capitulated. Excellent. Which means I probably need to move my front line. Yes. There we go. Uh, it looks like the French actually don't have enough forces here. I wonder if we can grab Paris. Go, push. They're getting weakened. They've been moving and trying to relocate. This is this is good. Push, keep pushing. This is working. I know I sound surprised, but that's because I am. I keep on the back foot, keep going. What's the national unity of France? 35 Yeah, if we grab Paris, they're done for. Um Oh, I don't know what I want. Um, group artillery is still a little bit ahead of time. Not much. Concentrate industry. It is ahead of time, but it's worth doing. It's amazing. I'll move out of the Benelux region soon enough. Hi, America. I know we're playing with you, but whatever. You're a mess now. Tank, do this for me. I right, crush them. We got this. Encryption. Sweet. Okay, so that should give us a nice attack bonus. That's still ahead of time. We'll get the defense with uh, encryption. Uh, how are we doing down here? Yeah, you're all just like standing still. How about we actually like sort this out, right? Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Uh oh. Soviet Union and Germany are getting close. That's not allowed. Come on, America. You know you want to give in. France bans communism. A drastic decision. <gasps> Edouard Dandelier cabinet have decreed the dissolution of the Parti Communiste Francais. Ever since uh, Soviet Russia signed the non-aggression pact with Nazi Germany, there have been talks of prescribing communism in France. The decree was instated following the agreement between the two nations of the Parliament of Poland. For the, sorry, for the partition of Poland. Yeah, Parliament of Poland was like, I'm pretty sure Poland doesn't get a say in this. Um, they took the opportunity as a support for a ban rose and even leftist papers started advocating for the abolition of the Parti Communiste Francais. Okay. Drastic decision. Not that it really matters to them right now. Ah, they've got enough units on the front now. I don't think I can continue my push. I'd like to, but... I need to move a unit back to take Calais. I really just need to punch through and get it, but I don't think we're going to. Stop your attack. It's not going to happen.
just dig in. Uh, in terms of you, select all. Move to the closer airfield. And then over France. Yes, thank you. Not got enough fighters there, 24. If they decide to uh, oppose in the sky, we're screwed. Uh, ooh. Extensive conscription. Yes, train time does go up. But it's worth it. Yeah, it's all trickling through to people in the field now who need to replace their losses. Yeah, if we can just get through to Paris, but the problem is it's going to take enough effort to get through there. Uh, I need that motorized division. Crush them. Come on, we get an overrun. Come on, let's get an overrun. Either way, I'm pretty sure they're screwed. <laughs> and we've actually managed to besiege loads of guys here. I promise they've got enough cities that they're probably okay. Nonetheless, I am going to start messing with them in a major fashion. Because, ah, uh, that's the way I roll. Really, that, that's the only thing needs to be said. That's how I roll. So they have massive supply issues. That, like, little orange bar is really low. And that's the supplies, right? Yeah. Oh, sweet. They have organization issues. They have supply issues. It must be just pumping them out with the manpower rather than actually trying to get them any good. How do you declare war in Romania? Oh, things are getting interesting. Oh, I can't let you see who that is. They're trying to push out. It's not allowed. Oh, there we go. I can see them now. It's because I didn't want anyone in base contact. All right, let's check on France. Yeah, they've stopped. They could probably crush me if they pushed. Interesting choice. And they've got SKRT. Oh, God, look at the number of fighters. Uh, I'm going to select all, and I'm just going to tell them to... Oh, they've pulled back. The f nope, the fight's back again. I'm going to pull back to the Benelux region for now. I can't match that number of fighters. Crush you. Come on. There we go. Let me pop box select for God's sake. Crush you. Crush you. Right, let's also have a look at our fighters here. Select all. 800 planes, 400 planes. How many planes have I got here? I have no idea. Let's put them in there. Yeah, plenty. Yep, let's support uh, basically our push into the southwest. Because that's where the oil is, and I want that oil. Mm -mm. Delicious, tasty oil. Right, well, apparently, you're going to let me grab this. Oh, no, you're moving in. Quick, attack them. Prevent them moving in. Aha! Take that. America, when are you going to concede? 
You've lost. Give up. Oh, I should probably also do a national focus. Not that they massively matter, but... Eh. Uh, service overseas. We experience. Issue gas masks. We get national unity. Sure. Yeah, let's do national unity. Oh, hello. Looks like they're pushing. And, yep, yeah, they managed to do it. Whoa, why is my... For God's sake. Sometimes this is really annoying where it just, like, doesn't actually move your front line properly. Because I'm not defending that now. I need to. Partly because... Look! There's a river there! That's really good to defend. Yeah. Can't blame them for pushing, though. I did say they need to do that. I guess they were just waiting for their plan to be completed. I assume that those are, like, French troops coming back from the Americas. Right. Here's a new front line. Place, oh, wait. Defensive line. Do, I always do that one wrong, don't I? Push. Basically a full front push. Now it's just about grabbing enough land. How close are they to giving in? Let's actually have a proper look, right? Current war. Uh, the British-American war. 95%. France is only 30%. So yeah, America's going to give up soon. Dive bombing. Cannot send five visions. Zog's went into Italy. Where is worth victory points, America? That's worth 10. That's worth 10. That's worth 10. Excellent, make a push for this. Uh, any motorized? No. Motorized! Hey yo! Go here and then just push in and grab these victory points. And that should probably do it. Ground support. Yeah! Great news. Okay, um, I guess. I'm going to tell you to, like, join in a front line here. After I tell the ones of you up here to front line that and apply. I don't think there's actually anyone else left in North America. I think that's literally just it, like, the one French division that was there. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, all aircraft I'm not doing because I need to wait for the aircraft to actually be unlocked. My current one's a cannon now. Defend that. How much have they got up here? Only 100 fighters. That's still more than I can do, so... I mean, unless I move the ones from Britain. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to be bombed anymore. Uh, still ahead of time. Oh, there's a load of stuff that's been unlocked today, though. Uh, advanced machine tools. Yeah, sweet. This year is really good for unlocks. 38 is kind of crappy. 39 is really nice. Right. Murder. And that's it. Come on, come on. There we go. That's it. North America is now taken. Uh, yeah, and you can add yourself to this front line as well. Uh, I've got to get the right one. There we go. See, all the units now exiting via the port system. There we go. Submarine Spitfire. I am happy. Yay! Which means I'm going to go straight into the Spiteful, which is going to take a long time, but with five years ahead of time. So I kind of think it's worth it. gonna lock up one of my like research slots which is you know arguably a bad idea but the ability to just have ridiculous air power is gonna help uh i'm gonna add you to that and what is the state of my supplies i need more support equipment everything else is generally okay tanks could do a buff uh super spitfire 
lots of them. Lots of them. Like lots. Uh, and I need more support equipment. Um, Spitfire first. Right, so we've got enough mechanized, so let's reduce that. Artillery, let's reduce that. Alright, that seems good. Yeah, they're trying to cut off the Suez Canal. Should have paid more attention to this, but that's fine. I don't think this war is going to last all that much longer. They're doing their darndest. Was that uh, mobile infantry? Yeah. Nice motorization. Oh, they're winning here. Quite well, we've got so many troops there. Okay, how's it going? We're holding. Oh, you aren't. Don't know if you'll get there in time. Probably not. No! That's not doing too badly. I think we actually do need to get this attack. Otherwise, that's going to be an annoying place to defend. We'll just shorten our line. Yeah, Counter-attack. In force. Yep. Got it back. <laughs> and now the American units are back. The American units now have experience, by the way. So they're going to be pretty damn tough. Oh, wow. What the hell? Oh, that's my uh, navy. I was like, I thought this was a giant convoy. Uh, there, we sunk seven of their subs. Okay, that's nice. Okay, push forwards. Issue gas masks. Um, we should training act. Can send volunteer. I don't want any of the things in that tree then. Um, I guess we go to service overseas and get some experience. I've got some expense piled up, but we'll start using soon. Probably after when this war is over. We just need to crush France. And I think what I'll do is I will fold you into you. And then I'll give you the order to push France. Quite why well, you didn't take advantage of that opportunity, I don't know. Oscar's annexed. You know, you could have just done the, you know, hi, I want to join Anschluss and all that, but no. Ooh. Oh, it's your subs again. I thought they actually wanted a proper naval battle. Oh, Germany wanted to send me stuff and then they backed away because I didn't report my time. God damn it. I should have paid one more attention to Germany. I'd have taken stuff, I wouldn't have agreed with them. Oh, um, all of you. There, there we go. And all of you. There. And, uh, the Democratic Party's been put in charge in, where was it? Hungary. Yeah. Interesting choice, Romania. It's not what I would have done, but okay. Come on, France. We'll get wrecked. <gasps> German troops have crossed into Bohemia and Moravia, ostensibly to restore order to the governments in the wake of the Czech Republican government, blah, blah, blah. In Prague, the occupying force announced the creation of an autonomous protector within the German Reich. <gasps> this isn't what we agreed on. I know it isn't. I'm really shocked. How could Germany betray us? Yeah, Paris is going to fall. And? Ooh. They haven't given up yet. When are they going to give up? 
I need 10 more war score. Okay. Uh, in which case, how about we take Brest, which is now your new capital, and everything north there. Just not the Maginot Line, because it's going to be a pain to fight. Yes, push forward my 50s. Push! I really wish we had the default focus tree rather than this one, because this one doesn't really do much for us. If we had the default, we could get the whole, like, plus 7% recruit for population. Because population is going to be one of our massive, like, downs factors right now. Population is going to be the hard part of taking over the world. Maybe war in China is needed. Okay, let's make a definite push for Orléans. If we get Orléans, that's a load of victory points. If we get Gijon, that's a load of victory points. They're trying to defend it. I don't know. A lot of troops are just going through it. They're not even trying to defend it properly. We just need to grab those victory points. We get to lose. Oh, sorry, cause. They should be capitulating any second now. No divisions are assigned to this. Yep, yeah, that's excellent. Good job there. Oh, there we go. And France capitulated. So France, I would like to um, take all states. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Uh, Belgium, take all states. Um, who have we not talked to yet? Oh, United States. Hi. I'll be taking all your states. Except for one. Which I need to make you uh, still exist so that I can get my uh, bonuses. I also need Germany to be at war with Poland to even start off that chain of events. I need Germany to fight for Poland. Hopefully they'll do that soon. Uh, but yeah, I need to find a province I don't care about. Puerto Rico? Yeah, I've got enough naval bases there. And I'm going to puppet Puerto Rico. Hi. Free American Empire, would you like to uh, invite faction? Oh, you're already in the faction. Excellent. I entirely approve. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I think, you know, Mexico's a good choice. Republican Spain. Are you in a faction with anyone? No faction. You might get up with Soviet Russia. And then again, if Soviet Russia gets in, like, that's not really a problem for me. What about Japan? Yeah, I don't want to get involved in Japan just in case it puts you, uh, Germany on my, like, bad side. I don't want to piss off Germany just yet because I want to attack Poland. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably start planning for the invasion of Spain and Portugal. So especially if I can get... Uh, I can't invade them yet because technically a uh, national Spain still exists. That's technically in the Civil War. Uh, because if I can get um, Portugal, that's a good load of resources that I've got. Uh, I've got a load of resources down here. Um, what about the rest of you? Maybe we'll take Siam. Yeah, we'll take Siam. Uh, ooh, we can take Iraq now because no one's like guaranteeing them, right? Because it was France guaranteeing them. Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get Iran. Um, although, don't desperately need the oil. I've got you know the oil from America now. Like this is this is the part that was like the if there's gonna be a tough part, it, this is the tough part done. Like I've taken the Americas. Now the only issue is if I poke the bear. Maybe I'll poke the bear just for fun. No. I, I would lose because of manpower. Um So what I think we'll do is we'll do so I am. And then we'll have to think about going in war against China, just because I can do with some of the population. And uh, I can try and grab it while Japan fights. And then that'll give us a nice base there to go from. I think that's a good plan. Anyway, I've been Aurelius Sim. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Uh, technically, the Second World War for me is over. The Third World War might only just be beginning. And technically, this is before the Second World War even started. So, you know, quick on the draw and all that. Stay shiny.